In this little video we'll be showing you how to bath your baby. So what we recommend is don't bath baby within the first 24 hours just so they can regulate their temperature. Um, and for maybe bath once, maybe twice a week, all the rest of the time you can just get a little bowl of um, nice warm water, some cotton wool balls um, and just wash your baby, top and tail is what we call it. Make sure you pay attention to areas that might get a little bit sweaty, so around their neck, underneath their arms, between um, in their groin, between their legs um, and washing their bottoms. Um, so to start off with make sure you get a table, you can get access to a table. Um, try not to bath babies on the floor just because you find it hard to bend over, especially if you've had a section. And it's much easier to do it at waist height. Getting a bath um, full of water, so if you can use it in the kitchen, if you've got a kitchen table, so you're not moving the bath um, any big area, through any um, long areas because it is quite heavy making sure the bath is nice, warm and deep. Remember these babies have been in water for nine months and they want nice, warm, deep water, not a little two inches in the bottom that they're, they're gonna get cold and uncomfortable in. Just like when you have a bath, you like the bath to cover you, so do babies. What we recommend first is stripping baby down to their nappy, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the face and neck and hair area first. Having just some plain water, in the bath, wrapping baby up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, I've just been told to treat it like a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, wrapping baby up so the arms are nice in, but still keeping the nappy on. Popping baby underneath your arms and putting a C around baby's neck so you've got baby nice and secure. And what you're doing is just holding baby over the bath, getting some cotton wool balls, dipping them in, squeezing them out, and we're doing the eye area first, like was shown in the previous uh, video. So doing one eye first, getting rid of that, wetting, squeezing out, doing the other eye area from the inside out, and getting rid of that. What um, we suggest doing next is just giving the face a wipe, so you're wiping around down here and you're paying special attention to the crease of baby's neck because that's sometimes where they dribble a little bit of milk it can get stuck in there and because it's moist and warm sometimes it can smell um, a little bit so you're doing wiping the neck using cleaner and then just wiping the rest around their face once you've done that, if you want to add a little bit of baby bath, then now's the time to do it. So add a little squeeze in, swish it around, and you can either use cotton wool or you can just use your hand and you're washing baby's hair. Sometimes babies can have a, um, a lot of muck in their hair so, and it dries up. So just get out what you can. Once baby's out of the bath and dry, you can then use um, an old fashioned little baby brush or baby comb and just comb it through to get rid of um, any existing bits that might be stuck in there. Once you've done that, we're popping baby down, you're just drying baby's hair and baby's face and making sure you dry it underneath that neck. Taking the nappy off and then again holding the baby in the crook of your arm, holding this arm and dipping baby all the way into the water. Now your baby will either absolutely love having a bath or you'll absolutely hate it. Scream down the house, your neighbours will be wondering what you're doing to this poor baby. So it might be a quick bath, it might be a nice long slow bath because if you swish water over baby it can remind them of being in your belly, being surrounded by all that water. You can either use a flannel base, it's sometimes easier just to use some cotton wool because that's easier to dispose of then. And you're just washing, paying special attention, like I said, to underneath the arms and between the legs. There are some um, things that you can get from some baby shops that you can pop in the bath. There are like um, little cradles that give you a little bit more room to move about. If you feel like you haven't got enough experience and you don't feel safe doing baby like this, do what we used to do years ago and just bath baby in the sink. Fill the sink up as deep as you can, 
sit baby into the sink and just do exactly the same. That'll give you a bit more confidence of holding baby, handling baby, and you'll be able to see whether your baby really loves having a bath or not. Once you've had the bath, popping baby, wrapping baby up, and then drying baby all the way down underneath the arms. Make sure you pay special attention between the legs and then just making sure you dry them all the way over. We don't recommend using baby powder um, on babies. Um, it's not made for them. If they breathe it in, it can get, to, um, if you wet a little bit of talcum powder in your hand and roll it around, it makes these grey gloopy balls. And if your baby breathes a lot of that in, that's what it'd be doing inside um, its lens. So we don't recommend using baby powder at all while your baby is small. So, that is bathing your baby. Mm -hmm. Can find it. Mm -hmm. On the left, go down. It's on the wall. On the left. It's now on me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going down.